Stop it! Quiet on set! Hello, welcome to our tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be doing the front hand spring. You may not have a spring floor to do this on, so you may be doing this somewhere outside that's not as soft as it could be. Try to find some grass, something. Our starting point is gonna be a handstand. Feet together, hands up high, now reach. From here, take a step forward, bend your front knee, lift your back foot up, come to a T pose or a warrior three. From here, you're gonna bend your front knee, put your hand on the ground, kick up, feet touch, come back down. You're not trying to kick up all the way, you're just trying to get your feet to touch before you come back down. You need to reach through your shoulders so that you can push the ground away. Chamber your front leg so that you can drive your back leg up explosively. When you go into your handstand, you may kick up too far. If you kick up too far, you need to know how to bail safely. Just move a hand. When you do this bail in the handstand, don't do it in the front handspring. The bridge is important for you mentally, not physically. You're not actually going to be doing this shape in the front handspring. But mentally, you've got to start thinking, I need to get my feet there. So the bridge is a good step for you mentally. Feet near your butt, fingertips point towards the shoulders, lift your hips up high. Try to push through your shoulders. If you don't have a pad, you can use a wall. When you do your front handspring, the biggest fail is letting your hips collapse. So when you kick up into your handstand, reach with your feet. If you happen to have a pad, a mattress, or a couch cushion, anything, you can use this exercise. Fight to not let your hips collapse. The goal needs to be to do the form properly. It can't be to get to your feet. If your goal is to get to your feet, you will let your hips collapse. If you fail to get to your feet, you're gonna fall back towards your head. The bail then is to turn and hit the ground with your shoulder as opposed to letting your hips collapse. When you do your front handspring, don't let your shoulders, eyes, or hips turn at all. Try to pretend like you are in a tunnel. Go straight forward, right down the middle of the line, keeping your eyes centered so that you're on both sides with your extremities. Push through your fingertips. Kick your back foot up, not forward. Land with your chest up high by landing on the balls of your feet. When you're learning, you can use a raised platform to give you more time in the air before you have to land. Arms and shoulders not active. Committing to the front handspring, but not having enough momentum to actually get over your head. Collapsing at the hips. Having no power. Using your back leg to kick forward instead of up. Turning to the side. That's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching us. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Tune in for more. I love you.